In this video, we will see about the different classes of motor duty. What are electric drives? The drives which employ electric motors for its operation are called electric drives. While choosing a motor for a particular drive, we should match the speed or characteristics of the motor and the load. So, the intersection point will give you the operating point of the drive. Apart from the speed or characteristics of the motor, there are different factors to consider while choosing a motor. We have already seen that the speed or characteristics of the load and the motor should match to select the motor for a particular drive. So, apart from this speed or characteristics, there are various factors to be considered. For example, you see here this motor is driving the load. But if this motor runs continuously for a long time, what happens? The temperature will increase. If temperature increases, burnout may occur. So, there are various factors to be considered for selecting a motor. The rating of the motor and what will be the operation under steady state condition as well as transient condition. That is if you give some disturbance it should be able to restore its original position. And what will be the starting torque because for example you take an um, electric train it has a high mass. So to you need a high static mo motor to start the train. And what will be the overload capacity of this motor and what is the thermal capacity of the motor that is whether it can withstand temperature rise or not. So all these things should be considered while selecting a motor for a particular drive. Now I have chosen the motor for the drive but what should be the size of the motor that is a big question because our load will be of any size but the motor will be manufactured only at uh, specified ratings will be available in the market. So, to you have to match the motor rating with the load rating. So, how, what happens if you choose a small size motor and what happens when you choose a large size motor. So, if you choose a small size motor there is a possibility that it may not drive the load properly because it will it will not have that capacity. Then overlading of the motor may occur so which will re, uh, increase the temperature of the motor. And if you choose a large size what happens? Cost will increase. Apart from that the efficiency will be very poor because the motor is not fully loaded. And uh, in AC machines, it may lead to poor power factor at light loads. So, all these factors are to be considered before choosing the motor for a drive. What are the different classes of motor duty? First, you have continuous duty. Then, you have a short time duty. And third one is intermittent duty. So, in continuous duty, there are two cases if the load is a constant one or if the load is a variable one. Again in intermittent duty you have periodic duty that is the load repeats periodically and whether you have to take the starting period and breaking period. So depending upon that there are different classifications. So, the major classification are of three types that is continuous duty, short time duty and intermittent duty. First, we will see about continuous duty with constant load. So, here the motor always operates with the constant load torque. The load torque is constant. It is constant such that um, so, this is the low torque which is constant so that the temperature rises and it reaches the steady state value. So, in this case the motor rating should be slightly greater than the power required by the load because if you choose a 
um, lower rating what happens your temperature may exceed and burnout may occur so always better to choose a sl rating greater than the power required by the load and in this case the motor since the load is constant the loss will also be constant so next one is continuous duty with variable load here the load is not constant but it is varied in steps uh, like uh, you take a juice maker you add some fruits then after some time you will add it add it again so like that your load is variable but the machine is on continuously so the load varies here so the temperature will rise for some time then decrease and rise for some time again decrease so in this case uh, choosing a motor will be difficult because we don't know which um, the particular load value so in this case we have to choose the motor based on the average power so what are the applications of continuous duty eh? paper mill drives centrifugal pumps and fans are some of the examples that is the load will be constant here next is short time duty motor here uh, the load will be available only for a short time and after that the motor will go to rest position so in that case the temperature increases and after that there is a sufficient time to cool down so here the machine is um, allowed to cool to ambient temperature so in this case you can overload the machine because you are getting sufficient time to uh, cool down so the machine can be easily overloaded and the machine of lower rating can be used for such applications so the best example is cranes because they will be used only for a particular period not at all times so household appliances so all these comes under short time duty in intermittent periodic duty the load cycle is identical one that is the same pattern repeats again and again so the load is on for period of t on and it is off for period t off so the temperature increases and it has sufficient time to cool down the pattern is predictable so this motor can be overloaded here uh, if uh, the starting and the breaking losses are neglected that time is very small starting time and breaking time is small means you can neglect the losses during that period so if you see the applications you can take this uh, pressing machine drives because the pattern will be same so these type of machines uh, for falls under intermittent periodic duty next one intermittent periodic duty with starting losses we are taking into consideration okay so here the uh, the load has a starting period then running period and the rest period so starting on and rest period will be there so here the duty cycle is given by starting period plus Uh, on period divided by total time period that is starting plus rest uh, um, on period plus rest period so here uh, we are considering only the starting period because um, stopping of the motor is uh, very fast or it occurs by natural means so in that case we will consider only the starting one in case the bre breaking period is also large we have to consider that losses so for starting period application you have metal cutting drilling tools all these comes under this application so intermittent periodic duty with starting and breaking you have um, starting period on period and this is the breaking period and the rest period 
so you take the electric train it will be uh, heavier in mass so the starting period and the breaking period should be taken into consideration so this is the best example so the points to remember here are uh, while choosing a motor for a particular drive you have to consider the speed torque characteristics rating of the motor the operation under steady state and transient condition and sufficient starting torque is there to drive the load and its uh, overload capacity and thermal capacity and how to choose a small size or large size motor depends upon the application so you can choose if you choose a small size it does not drive the load properly and it uh, overloading may lead to burnout and if you choose a large size uh, high cost will be there and efficiency will be poor as well as power factor may be poor at light loads so there are three uh, types of uh, motor duty continuous duty where the load is constant throughout the period and there is a sufficient time for the temperature to increase to its steady state value in short term duty the load will be present only for a short period so here there is a sufficient time to cool down so in this case you can go for overloading and in intermittent duty motors the load pattern is repeatable so the temperature increases and decreases so here if you want uh, if the starting period is more you have to consider the starting losses and if the breaking period is more you have to consider the breaking losses also if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and these are the references which i have used thank you